Let's let's do this. All right. From from you growing up, what were the things when, before you had like uh, black friends, Spanish right. friends, and all that? What was the thought? Stay away from black people. Why? Because they smoke crack. They steal. She like that. She like that. The news. She like that. The news. They, that, the they, news. Tell they, them they, the they gonna, they gonna, they gonna rob you. They gonna do that. They are gonna beat you up. They gonna do the, all that type of shit, right? I remember, what, like, like my grandfather didn't let me go. In, he said that if you're gonna talk to a black kid, you can't come back in this house. And I didn't go back in the house. I was like, I don't know how old I was. I was probably like four or some shit. See, mm -hmm. I don't know. If you was black and you ain't go back in the house, man, you was going to get whipped outside. Right, but I was young. And, you know, and that's what I experienced. But that started from you having a relationship <laughs> with a black friend. In school. Right. That was important to you. Right. Who was? Black. But who was the person? I don't even know. I don't, I've never seen that before. What do you mean? So, what happened was... But you had a friend. All right. What oh. happened was, my grandfather lived in Brooklyn, right? He mm -hmm. lived in, like, my grounds, like, somewhere around me. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, but he... China Mac in the middle, you gotta understand. Um, but you can't understand, because you ain't Chinese. He, and so he... So, I lived there for a little bit, right? And then, when I was a kid, I went to school. I was, I was zoned to a school there. My mm -hmm. first two, three days there, I go to the school, when my grandfather comes and picks me up, I'm standing outside talking to a black kid. And when I go in the car, he looks in the mirror and tells me if I if he catches me talking to other black people, another black kid, I can't go in the house. Mm. So when we got in the house, I stayed my ass outside. I stood right on the fucking the the the, the, the steps. Yeah. And I said, call my mother. I'm not going in this house. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? And my mom came and picked me up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so that I was going through that. I mean, only reason this is not even an issue is because China Mac is Chinese and he in hip hop. I mean, let's keep it 100. That shit since a kid, you know right. what I mean? And but then he had an experience. No, but again, it's like, I don't think he had a personal experience. experience. You don't think he ever got robbed or he got beat he up? He might have, but, right. you know, you know, you but know. He might have been taught that from right. his parents. Right. His parents. Well, yeah, he a rapper, entertainer, man. He ain't responsible for knowing that answer. Well, he might have. He, 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 he might have got robbed. He said. He said. But it's not out of hate. That's the thing. Right. It's not out of hate. You feel me? Like, like the, the, the Chinese. The, the Asian prejudice thing. I don't think it's out of hate. You feel me? Like, like the, the, the China, the Asian prejudice that I've experienced isn't. Hate. I hate black people. It's I'm scared of black people. Of you. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, interesting. Interesting. Because I didn't get that feeling like when I went to the Chinese restaurant that they were scared of me. I had a feeling that they were disgusted with me. When I see a black like they were spitting my food. No cap. I mean, I'm just being honest. I, said, I don't hate you. I don't want to kill you. I want to cross the street because what I've learned It's not that they really want to cross the street or they disgusted because if they, you know, mainly operate in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Mainly operate in the hood, behind the cage. That's how I know. I remember Chinese restaurants. And that's and the reason why I'm saying Chinese restaurants because that's my experience with Chinese. In my hood, we had Cambodians. Is that you might rob me, you might kill me, you might punch me, you might do whatever. You know what I'm saying? And if what's that from? I don't know. But it could that, be rap. Man, it could be media. You could even want to see the Onyx video. No, what? Math bugging. Math bugging. I understand what you're trying to do, but math, math, math bugging, man. Math bugging. There we go. Hip hop. Making hip hop synonymous with black people. You feel me? Making hip hop synonymous, even the dysfunctions. But it's not. Yeah, you know what it is? Let me tell you. This is interesting. Saying. At one point in the. And that's no diss to math. That's, that's a way for people that think like that to open up your mind. No, right? You're talking about the entire late 70s to pretty much 2000. The scariest words in America were young black men. Okay, uh, and that's real. That's very real. So to the point where it affects us. us. And just and that's the same shit. That's the media. That's how they painted the black. Well, Chinese people been racist to us. To be, I, I would, I would assume before hip hop music even started, they always had like a sort of a disdain for uh, us, but like to make money off of us. You know, black people at the time. Well, and this is how they playing. Get in the comments. You ever seen one black person working in a Chinese restaurant? 
You know what I'm saying? It's, but it's not just that. It's 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 like, all right. So like, I travel a lot. You don't be stupid. And if I stay at a hotel that is mad black people, <laughs> you know, I start to feel like nervous. Like, maybe I didn't what's do good going on? How you feel nervous around your own people? That's beyond me. You know what I'm saying? But I understand what you're saying. But I don't understand that because I did so much time in jail. I was always going to sleep. <laughs> Wait, it was a bunch of black people. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought this was a five star. And I had to check myself, like, what the fuck am I doing? It's programming. Like, like seriously, like, I mean, what it. kind of programming did I accept? At ding, 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 ding. Programming. You know what? That's the, that's, that's, the, that's the turning point when you start realizing, yo, listen, man, it ain't all about conspiracy. It's all about reality. Reality is, this is the way I think. Where did it come from? At some point, yeah. to where I feel uncomfortable right. around my people. You feel what I'm saying? And that can make other people, seeing that black people is uncomfortable around their own people, be uncomfortable too. It's programming that's coming from the outside. It's like every Chinese that you meet tell you, you know what? Don't mess with Chinese people. It, Indirectly. It's not necessarily like it's not right, the community. Said, yeah, 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 you feel right. me? You went to school. You all right? You got kids? Nah. I got kids. Mm. You take a kid to a playground. He balling out with everybody. You let him loose. He you don't care about that. Cause kids what? Like in his... That's right. That's why I understand China Max example. Because kids, some kids are stubborn. Like black kids, they get their ass whooped. But some other kids, I used to see some Puerto Rican kids do some shit that I couldn't do in my house. You know what I mean? Talk back to their mother and so be cursing and all that. They looked at it a little bit different. You understand what I'm saying? It was more stricter in, in my household. But I could understand a child that just that that's stubborn in that way. What you mean I can't talk to my friend? Right. He don't care if your eyes square. He don't care if you you, you lying. You got blonde hair. You he don't give a fuck. Let's get the slide. He's like, yo, let's just doing the slides. You want me to push you on the swing? They don't care. Right. Prejudice is toward the home. And I and I wasn't lying. When I said prejudice is toward the home, I wasn't bullshit when I said Chinese people can't draw. You know when I learned racism? I'm gonna tell you when I learned racism. I was on on a Sunday. Sunday morning, I was to church with my mom. It's not really learning racism when you're when you are responding to a way that you're being treated. You know what I'm saying? Now we know we let we could take the kids out of the example and we could use adults. Like let's 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 keep it one hundred. You feel me? He's he's correct. That, that they do teach, you know, the, the bad habits that we pick up. But in particular, racism towards Chinese, nobody ever had no problem with going to get no Chinese food. We love China fo Chinese food, you know what I'm saying? We all give the China man a problem, you know what I'm saying? Me put dicky dicky inside you, you know? <laughs> I, we have stereotypes, but we not taught racism. We not taught systematic racism, like hate that person. Be scared of that person. Be we never heard that. We was, you know what I'm saying? That on Saturday we was looking at the Kung Fu flicks, trying to do mimic what they was doing. We we love Bruce Lee. We put those dudes on on on, you know what I mean? Like we put them on pedestals. We love Chinese flicks. We love everything about their culture. But they systematically taught to hate our culture, just like so many other cultures. Oh, she be driving. I'm sitting in the back seat. She looked out the window. She said, these motherfuckers coping drive me crazy. And we kept Okay, cool. That's a stereotype. That's not teaching you. That's not telling you that if I ever see you talking to one of these, that is damaging to a child. But imagine this nigga position. Okay. He Chinese. He rocking with a bunch of black people. That's just like with Millie's. Millie's is white rocking with a bunch of black people. And all we gotta justify his position when he's just trying to entertain. Why do y'all be putting these duties on people? If you really care, go to the government, man. Make your own channel. Make a, make your voice heard and known and loud if you really care about that. Because at the end of the day, it's only clicks and views. I'm going to church. Took me two days before I mustered up the balls to go, hey, mommy. What's the coconut? Jack She said the West Indian. West Indians, Jamaicans. Now, that's the division that and, and it's not something that Asian people have. And I understand that's your man and everything. You're trying, to, you're trying to relate, but the best way to relate is telling the person the truth. And when, you know, the truth comes from deep within. You have to realize, you know what I mean, the things that you're saying. Break the things down that you're saying versus what that man just said. That man said that his grandfather told him, you're not coming home. 
and this nigga is a, a little boy. You feel me? It's different. Black people can look at each other and go, Haitian, that's a sock. Yeah. Yeah. Jamaican, that's a coke. Asian people do that too? Yeah. 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 Oh man, yeah. I ain't Bro, bro. listen. Listen, Chinese people from this province, mm -hmm. like we look at Hong Kong, Hong Kong people from Hong Kong look at mainland China mm -hmm. like less of like it's different China, Mac. Like less civilized than this, and then we look at uh, Cambodian. All right, y'all can go see the rest of that interview on Mad Popper, but I'm gonna tell you like this, man. You don't know what it feel like unless it was you. That's why it's so easy to d try to diffuse the black man's pain. See, I don't like the black man's pain to be a crutch. And that's why I I fight, the, I go the opposite end. I don't allow people to be weak and just keep blaming other people without putting their own foot forth. But one thing I definitely disagree with, hip hop is not synonymous with black people, man. Stop putting that negative, raggedy, nasty shit on us. Stop putting this whack ass racism conversation on us like racism is stopping anybody from out here from doing anything and becoming a millionaire. You stopping yourself from becoming a millionaire. You the nigga that like to entertain all of this shit that you seeing on the on the, on the tube and, and TV. What part are you playing? At the end of the day, like I said, it's just clicks and views if you ain't busting no moves. All right? China Mac trying to do rap and all this, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? His duty ain't to come out here and save us. His duty ain't to come out here and to have no conversation about us. Chinese people was racist in America. So is a whole bunch of other motherfuckers that, that specifically hate black people. Namely, the black man. All right, get in the comments, man.